one people became U.S. citizens after pledging the oath of allegiance in a naturalization ceremony at the Hampshire County Superior Court in Northampton, marking the end of a long legal process for some. Western Mass News reporter Daniel Santiago joins us live in the studio after getting answers on what that legal process is like. Daniel? Blank, the, legal, the length of the legal process to become a citizen in the United States is going to depend on many, many variables. It could take weeks or years, according to legal experts. 51 people in Western Mass can now call themselves Americans after becoming U.S. citizens in a ceremony hosted by the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services and the U.S. District Court for the District of Massachusetts. They did it surrounded by family and friends, making this 4th of July that much more meaningful. Naturalization ceremonies were hosted all across the nation today. Those 51 new citizens have come from all over the world, representing 25 different countries. Jude and Lalanti Payagala, originally from Sri Lanka, became citizens together. For them, this has been a long time coming. It's a great honor to call myself an American today. Uh, having been here for nine years, it's a long, strenuous journey. But today it's a great joy to be an American. To become a citizen, there are many requirements and steps to take. Before going through the process, candidates must have held a green card for at least five years, three years for those married to an American citizen. After that, they have to go through the process of submitting an application, have their biometrics taken, meaning fingerprints, body measurements, and eye color, complete an interview on civics and U.S. history, and finally pledge the oath of allegiance in a ceremony like today's. Western Mass News spoke to Herling Multani, a citizenship and immigration paralegal for the Center for New Americans, to learn more about the legal process behind becoming a citizen. She says that the interview portion of the process is usually what takes the longest and is also what makes the candidates more anxious. Waiting period now has gotten pretty quick. Um, now it's like four months. You, last year it was not four months. There's people that waited almost a year for an interview. Um, so we're happy that they're speeding up the process of people have less of a wait, um, but at the same time, that makes them more nervous that it's approaching, they have less time to study in some cases. Multani also told us what usually comes after candidates become citizens. So once they become U.S. citizens, they um, are able to apply for parents, siblings, spouses, children that may not be in the, in the States yet. So oftentimes people, once they naturalize, they will continue a relationship with us. The naturalization application is 20 pages long. For those who qualify, Multani also recommends that they find legal guidance and coaching to make sure that the legal process is as smooth and accurate as possible. Reporting live in studio, Daniel Santiago, Western Mass News.